guys welcome back to my channel um we're doing some crafty room projects this is one of the boxes of the uh, masks that i decided that i was going to get rid of and throw away and i'm going to see if i could try to use this cardboard which is not a very sturdy cardboard but still cardboard no less and see if i can create something from my man's room from my dollhouse so let's go ahead i'm just trying to cut it up and it doesn't look very good the way i'm cutting it which is fine because i'm just trying to cut it enough so i can get the usage for what i need it for okay yeah get rid of that so how are you guys doing i don't know how well this is going to come out i don't even know if i'm going to finish it today but we're going to figure this baby out yes we are so I'm just using this packaging that came out from the back of something and it looks like a mirror now although it is a little scuffed up and all that it could be cleaned up little by little there's no big deal it's going to be in a dollhouse you know nobody's going to be really looking at themselves in it and it is just like paper so I'm trying to figure out how much space on the outside I want okay so again, I believe in trying to reuse and recycle things whenever you can, whenever possible, try to reuse and recycle the things that you have. So, and if you can create something versus buying it, it saves you money. And there's just a certain pleasure that you get and um, when creating something, you know, when you create something, it's personalized is unique you're not going to see it anywhere else doesn't matter where you go you're not going to see it nowhere else because you made it so it's just special and i believe in keeping things special whenever possible now i don't do furniture the only furniture i make are beds because beds are fairly easy but all the other things i'm really not good at you guys honestly i'm really not so what i think i'm going to do uh oh can you pick that up baby so what I think I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to decide here because I want to use some of my washi. Now the washi that I pulled out, let me show you the options. Okay, now these are some of my washi options that I that I chose for my washi. So I want to use my washi. I want to try to incorporate washi whenever possible in any project to use my washi. So I got some of this wood look washi that I can put on the back of it just to give it a finished look if I really wanted to. Then I also chose these three to use towards the front. Now, I can do maybe a combo or a combo or just use one. I'm going to make a decision once I start cutting it out and see what's what or even layer it on top of each other like these two maybe. Or, you know, it could be any way that you want. So these are the three that just called out to me in this one for the back. Now I am using my paper cutter just to make sure that my cuts look good and they don't look messy. So I'm trying to gauge how I want this as far as how big of a space I want. Okay. So that's about Now it's better that you have it approximately the size and have it too large where you have to cut it down some more versus it'll just be too short and it'll just look like a mess. It's but be you're better off just making sure that you have the look that you want and then working it down. Because once it's been cut too much then you have to really just start all over again. Just a little bit shorter. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now let's cut it down here at the top. Remember, I want to kind of 
get adjust my idea. I found my extra pieces over here so I don't get confused. Because I always like to use these extra pieces for other things. I put them over here on the side so I don't get confused. Kind of washy. I think it's just like that. Maybe like that. Maybe. Okay. All right. I'm gonna put this over here on the side in case I need her again. Now I'm gonna try to glue this down to this. Now you guys, I decided to go ahead instead of using glue to use my red line tape. That's what I decided to do. Cause I was like, you know what? If the glue actually starts showing through this little paper, I'm gonna be upset through the, through the mirror paper. I said, let me use something that makes more sense, and that would be red line tape. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use some red line tape. And this is the red line tape that I got from the Dollar Tree, which works really well. So if you guys use red line tape, um, I highly recommend that you try to use um, this Dollar Tree brand and see if you like it. Okay, I'm just laying it across gently. Now yesterday, Frankie went to work with Daddy. They didn't get home till like 8 o'clock at night. It was a long day. Okay. It was a very long day. And um, he had a good time being at work with Daddy, of course. So that's what Frankie did yesterday. Okay. Now let's take this. There we go. She's red lined up. Let's go ahead and start peeling. This piece I should have had. Okay, there I took the red line tape off and I put it on the um, thing. Now what I'm going to do really quick is I don't know, I can't remember where I got this from. I think I might have gotten this from Michael, so this might stick very, very, this might be effective, I should say. That might be very effective. That just looks so skewed to me. I don't know if it's because of the red line. Yeah, it could just be me visually because of the because of the words. And that's what it looks like so far. I'm gonna do this in the back just in case I want to create a stand and I'm gonna line this up with the with this brown washing. Now I don't know if I should put some glue on it. I don't know how I'm feeling about that. I wanna see how it's gonna stick. Because I believe I believe I'll just let it hang in. I'll trim it up. I believe I got this from Michaels. So if I got this from Michaels, this is going to have a very good um, stick. Trim that up. Yeah. Okay, now this is what the back looks like after I put the wood um, washi on it. This is actually would make a beautiful flooring in a dollhouse if you see all the detail. But this is going to work out great for the dollhouse and make it look like, you know, a custom piece of um, wood. Now I'm going to try to figure out what I'm going to do with the front and I just trimmed it up one more time. So we'll see what happens next. Okay, so what I decided to do was just to keep it the solid wood, the solid wood look, as you can see. Now I'm trying to create a stand. First I made these two little like little side slit feet and I put them on the bottom. They did stain it up, but it didn't have the look that I really wanted. So I'm going to put these, basically these are trash. <laughs> I'm not going to use them. 
So what I decided to do, because I like, I love the way that it looks. It looks like a real wood piece. Love it. So I'm going to cut this down to have like a stand up type of a um, thing right here. So it can stand up and I'm going to cover this up in wood as well. And it'll just look like that and I'll be able to stand by itself in the room. So that is what my next step is. So I'm going to cut this down, cover this up, and I'll show you what it finally looks like in the room. So this is the back piece that I created. Um, I used the, again, the cardboard, wrapped it up in a washi, put the red line tape up here and finished the inside. So if some of you were to look at it from the side, the back, or even a little underneath, it's still gonna look finished. So, and I'm gonna attach it right here so it could basically hold up the mirror for the room. So here's my finished man's room mirror. What I'm gonna do, is um i will post some pictures of it inside the room for my blog if you guys want to go visit my blog i will upload that sometime today to show you what it looks like in the room itself so hope you guys enjoyed this very this very short and fast tutorial on using your washi the materials that you have at home packaging from other things that you may have received in the mail just like this little mirrored insert little paper that's what i used and making it usable for your dollhouse miniatures hope you enjoy bye